Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. In this video we are going to take up one very interesting video on radical equation challenge with cube roots. Equation is cube root of 3 times x cube minus 27 over cube root of 2x plus 3 equal to 54. We have to find out all real solutions. So let's get started by writing domain. Denominator cannot be 0. So 2x plus 3 can't be 0 x cannot be equal to minus 3 over 2. As it is not equal to minus 3 over 2, that means denominator is non-zero. So we can multiply both sides with the same. Multiply in the RHS also. So now these two terms will be over. So what is left? It is cube root of 3 times x cube minus 27 equal to 54 times cube root of 2x plus 3. Now I will divide both sides with cube root of 3. So let's divide. So these two cube roots will be over. Now what is left? x cube minus 27 equal to 54 over cube root of 3 times cube root of 2x plus 3. Now I will do one manipulation. I will multiply the RHS numerator denominator with cube root of 9. Cube root of 9. Now you can see cube root of 3 times in the denominator cube root of 9. So we can write it as cube root of 27 and 27 is 3 cube. So cube root of 3 cube. So it is 3. So our denominator this term will be 3. So I will be writing now x cube minus 27 equal to 54 over 3 times cube root 9 times cube root of 2x plus 3. Now 54 and 3. I will cancel these two by writing over there 18. So what is coming out ultimately? x cube minus 27 equal to 18 times cube root 9 times cube root 2x plus 3. Now I will insert this cube root 9 in to the cube root 2x plus 3. So we can write x cube minus 27 equal to 18 times cube root of 9 times 2x plus 3. So it is 18 times cube root of 18x plus 27. And LHS is x cube minus 27. Now I will use substitution. See it is cube root. So I will consider 18x plus 27 as suppose y cube. So let me write here y cube equal to 18x plus 27 or y cube minus 27 equal to 18x. And what about this equation after substitution? So I will be writing x cube minus 27 equal to 18y. Now I will write this equation with the very first one. It is I will write y cube minus 27 equal to 18x. Now one system of equation. Equation 1 and equation 2. Take away second from 1 change of sign. I will write x cube minus y cube equal to 18 times y minus x. Let's use the identity a cube minus b cube. So a minus b, a square plus b square plus ab. And if I will take all the term to one side, then I will be writing plus 18 x minus y equal to 0. 
sign change y minus x becomes x minus y now i will take x minus y overall common so in bracket x square plus y square plus xy plus 18 equal to 0 so from here i can conclude either x minus y will be 0 or x square plus y square plus xy equal to minus 18 so two equations are there we will solve both and remember our substitution is y cube is equal to 18x plus 27. Let's solve. So I will write x plus y. It was x minus y equal to 0. So x will become y from the first equation. And from the second equation, if I will write x square plus y square plus xy equal to minus 18. I will multiply this equation with 4. So I will be writing 4x square plus 4xy plus 4y square. I am writing y square plus 3y square equal to 18 times 4, 72. Now from first three term, I can write it is 2x plus y whole square. And second term, 3y square equal to minus 72. Now you can see a squares addition is negative. So no real solution we will be having here. The sum of two squares and this summation is coming out negative. So no real solution we will be having from this. So I will write now our equation that is x cube minus 27 equal to 18 y and after using this x equal to y i will write our equation x cube minus 27 equal to 18 x let's solve this cubic equation for our answer so i will write x cube minus 18 x minus 27 equal to 0 now using rational root theorem you can check 1 minus 18 means you can find out the eligible factors of constant coefficient and leading coefficient. So if you will write the constant coefficients factor plus minus 1, plus minus 3, plus minus 9 and plus minus 27. So I can see the leading coefficient it is plus minus 1. So straight away we can start from plus 1 minus 1. So coefficients are not coming out 0 that equation is not coming out 0. So let's consider x is equal to 3 suppose. See 27 minus 18 times 3 54 minus 27. So it is not matching. 27 minus 27 will be over minus 54. Is this 0? No. So now I will put x is equal to negative 3. x cube minus 18x minus 27 equal to 0. Let's put x is equal to negative 3. Minus 27, 18 times 3, 54 with plus sign, minus 27 equal to 0. This time it is 0. So minus 3 is our base solution. Now I will use synthetic division method. I will write all the coefficients of this cubic equation. Coefficient of x cube 1, Coefficient of x square 0, coefficient of x minus 18, coefficient of constant term minus 27. Leading coefficient as it is 1. Now I will multiply with this base solution minus 3. So minus 3 times 1 minus 3, minus 3, minus 3 times minus 3. So it will become plus 9, minus 9, minus 3 times minus 9, plus 27, 0. So here we are having coefficients for quadratic equation. Minus 3x minus 9 equal to 0. So I will use Sridharachar formula to find out remaining two solutions. First solution is clear. x is equal to minus 3. Let's use Sridharachar formula minus b. So minus of minus 3, 3. 
plus minus under the root b square minus 3 square is 9 minus 4ac plus 36 divided by 2. So I will write 3 plus minus square root 45. 9 times 5, 3 root 5 divided by 2. So we are having again two real solutions. So how many real solutions are there? 3 x is equal to minus 3 which is the base solution and then 3 plus minus 3 root 5 over 2. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe friends. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.